Hare Krishna. It is clearly stated in the Bhagavad Gita that to realize Brahman, identification is not all. Brahman identification may help one become joyful without material attachment or detachment and to achieve the platform of equanimity. But after this stage, one has to take to devotional service. When one takes to devotional service, after being elevated to the platform of Brahman realization, he is then admitted into the spiritual kingdom for permanent residence in association with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. That is the result of devotional service. Those who are devotees of the Supreme Personality of Godhead never fall down like the impersonalists. Even if the devotees fall down, they remain affectionately attached to their Lord. They can meet all kinds of obstacles on the path of devotional service and freely, without any fear, they can surmount such obstacles. Because of their surrender, they are certain that Krishna will always protect them. As it is promised by Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita, my devotees are never vanquished. O oh, our dear Lord, the demigods continue, you are appeared in your original unalloyed form, the eternal form of goodness for the welfare of all living entities within this material world. Taking advantage of your appearance, all of them can now very easily understand the nature and form of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Persons who belong to the four divisions of the social order, the Brahmacharis, Grahastas, Vanaprastas and Sannyasis can all take advantage of your appearance. Dear Lord, husband of the goddess of fortune, devotees who are dovetailed in your service do not fall down from their high position like the impersonalists. Being protected by you, the devotees are able to traverse over the heads of many of Maya's commanders in chief, who can always put stumbling blocks on the path of liberation. Dear Lord, you appear in your eternal transcendental form for the benefit of the living entities so that they can see you face to face and offer their worship sacrifices by ritualistic performance of the Vedas, mystic meditation and devotional service as recommended in the scriptures. Dear Lord, if you did not appear in your eternal transcendental form, full of peace and knowledge, a form which can eradicate all kinds of speculative ignorance about your position. Then all people would simply speculate about you according to their respective moods of material nature. The appearance of Krishna is the answer to all imaginative iconography of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Everyone imagines the form of the Supreme Personality of Godhead according to his mode of material nature. In the Brahma Samhita, it is said that the Lord is the oldest person. Therefore, a section of religionists imagine that 
God must be very old and therefore they de- depict a form of the Lord like a very old man. But in the same Brahma Samhita that is contrad- contradicted, although he is the oldest of all living entities, he has his eternal form as a fresh youth. The exact words used in this connection in Srimad Bhagavatam are Vichnanam, Achnana Vidapamarjanam. Vichnanam means transcendental knowledge of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Vichnanam is also experienced knowledge. Transcendental knowledge has to be accepted by the descending process of disciplic succession as Brahma presents the knowledge of Krishna in the Brahma Samhita. The Brahma Samhita is Vichnanam as realized by Brahma's transcendental experience and in that way he presented the form and the pastimes of Krishna in the transcendental abode. This knowledge is Achnana Vidaparam Janam that which can smash all kinds of speculation in ignorance. People are imagining the form of the Lord. Sometimes he has no form and sometimes he has form according to their different imaginations. But the presentation of Krishna in the Brahma Samhita is Vichnanam, scientific experienced knowledge given by the Lord Brahma and accepted by Lord Chaitanya. There is no doubt about it. Krishna's form, Krishna's flute, Krishna's color, Everything is reality. Here it is said that the Vichnanam is always defeating all kinds of speculative knowledge. Therefore, without your appearing as Krishna, as you are, neither Ajnana Vida Parabjnanam, destruction of the new science of speculative knowledge, no which nanam would be realized. In other words, your appearance will vanquish the ignorance of speculative knowledge and establish the real experienced knowledge of authorities like Lord Brahma. To be continued.